Hello again. After test driving the Blue Center locomotive, it's now time to put the Crocodile locomotive into action and let it drive around the track. I've already added four trains on the train track before starting this train. To motorize and automate these trains, I do not use standard Lego power up functions, but instead I use Arduinos. If you're interested in how I customize the Crocodile and how it looks like inside, be sure to stick around until the very end. If you are wondering why I'm not using the gap fix between the center section and both nose sections of the crocodile, I've tried it, but on one corner of the track where the corner starts with an incline, it gave me some problems. I removed it again and probably will try it again later on a new track layout. There are other problems I encountered when driving this train. Now it runs very smoothly, but it has difficulties in some of the corners. The train slows down in the corner due to friction of the large wheels. And the frontal part has the tendency to derail at a certain point in the track. This particular corner seems to be difficult for the Crocodile locomotive. I thought it might be caused by the fixed position of the switch, given some extra resistance on driving from this direction. But in slow motion you can see clearly that the train derails in the corner even before it reaches that part. And yes, I already removed the rubber bands from the front wheels of the train. Some people report that this helps. Next time I might add some extra weight in the nose to keep it on track. So you made it this far. Let me show you inside the train. To motorize the train I used an L motor from LEGO, but instead of the power up battery box I used a small rechargeable battery and I used an Arduino to control the motor. The Arduino, the motor control and the power regulators fit nicely inside the center part and it even has room for the driver. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and see you next time.